All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're talking about wireless and latency, specifically the Hollyland Cosmo C1. Okay, so you've probably seen in my stories me talking about wireless, and I usually recommend Teradek, Vaxis, and now the DJI transmission system. Um, people ask about Hollyland, and I usually say it's too latent to be usable, and they are cheap, which kind of makes sense. But recently, a buddy of mine suggested that I try out the Cosmo C1 because he found it to be not as latent, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And who knows, maybe there's some dud units out there it is made in China, so who knows? So to test all of this, I have here a 4K latency tester, and I will put a link in, in the description so you can check out this unit. But basically it takes USB and HDMI and has a little camera to read latency on a monitor like this. And then you put the camera that's on here up to one of these markers, and it gives you your latency in milliseconds right here. So this is spitting out about 55 milliseconds, and I found that this monitor is about 55, to 60 milliseconds of latency, depending on if you're on SDR or HDMI on the unit, which is okay latency wise. My small HD that I'm using right now is about 26 milliseconds of delay, so it's a lot faster. So what I did was I plugged um, this unit into the wireless and then put the other end of the wireless in here to see what my latency was. Let's go ahead and do it right now while we're at it. And I found, I did this both with SDI and HDMI. So here's the units. We'll scoot this out. I have some batteries for them right here. Turn that on. Turn that on. Let's go ahead and take the HDMI and plug it into the input here. And then have my SDI right here. I'm going to plug it into the output of this unit here. Change my input on the neon. Test the eye. Yes. Changing. Okay, so now it's going through the wireless to the screen. So now let's take our same tester, put it up here, and we're at about 115 milliseconds of delay. So if we do the math real fast, just on the calculator, so if we do 115 minus 55, which is what we were getting earlier, it's about 60 milliseconds, which is actually faster than it was in my previous test. Yeah, 60 milliseconds. Um, still not the 40 that they said. In my earlier test, and I'll throw them on the screen here, I was getting about 80 milliseconds of delay out of these units. Um, and then with my DJI kit, I was getting about 40 milliseconds of delay. So it's kind of weird that now it's 60 and it was 80 before. That's really weird. So another test that we will do is I'm gonna take it out of the HDMI in. I'm gonna go into the S HDMI in of a converter and then go SDI out of that converter into the Cosmos. Cause I was told the SDI input is faster. So bear with me here. See if this works right away. It did, cool. Latency tester, stick it on the screen, 122. What's really interesting to me here, and you're kind of catching me in this like reality of like, I'm testing this live with you guys, but I've done tests earlier today, is that every time I do the same test, the latency, is different. So I don't know if that's this unit. I feel like every time I test it straight into a monitor, it's the same latency. Um, or if it's the units changing, and if the units are changing based off of different information, like that's really weird to me. Cause now I'm ch checking it. Yeah, 127, 126. Yeah, so if we do 127, Minus the 55 of the monitor is 72 milliseconds, which is closer to 80, which is what I tested earlier. So again, no clue what is happening. Um, again, if I try the SDI input, 
I've found that it gets the exact same latency. I haven't found it to be any faster. What I have noticed is cameras with HDMI outputs are definitely more latent than cameras with SDI outputs. So that could be a factor if you're noticing way more latency using the HDMI in. It could be that the camera output is way more latent. So when I've done tests with this guy, the DJI kit, I've noticed it to be around 40 milliseconds to the monitor and then out of that into here about another five milliseconds. So we're talking 45 milliseconds of delay, which is extremely fast. These are made to be on drones. We use them on cable cams and rhythm tracks all the time and they're awesome. My concern and when I was using these earlier with the Komodo and other cameras and just watching the latency, it felt latent. Like I could feel when I'd move it, it was following me versus when I was using this guy, it felt in time, like I could control it. I was actually driving it versus with these, it felt like it was kind of behind. So that's my only thing. Um, they are very lightweight and small, which I appreciate. Um, they feel very well built. The case on the other hand could be a little bit better. I wouldn't even put this in Pelican category because I feel like I could break it pretty easy. It does include antennas and AC power Vaxis. Take note. Put an AC power cable in your kit with the cameras. My receiver, I want it to be plugged in. I don't want to have to run it on battery all the time. You should just put an AC cable in there, just like every other wireless company. Um, the DJI kit, it costs 2,500, and then you have to add the $500 module to get SDI output. Teradex usually start about three grand, these three grand. So this kind of backs up my whole theory of you need to spend three grand to get a decent wireless kit. Vax is the same thing. Vax is 1,000 is about $3,000, $2,900. So again, this kind of backs up what I've been saying forever. I was hoping that these were gonna be that sub $1,000 like decent option for wireless, but with that latency and the latency changing, I don't think I could use this unit, especially on a rhythm track where I need to pull focus and I'm like controlling something. It just doesn't seem like this kit is it yet. Well, that about wraps up this video and I just wanted to be clear, Hollyland did not send this to me. I bought this because I wanted to answer the question once and for all. Is this the sub $1,000 good wireless option? And sadly, I would say it's decent. The image quality looks okay but it's still not great because of that latency. I could not use this um, on a rhythm or a dactyl. I'm still gonna use my DJI kit or a Teradek. But um, yeah, decent unit, just still not quite there. And lastly, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I love being able to take equipment like this and answer your questions of whether this is worth your investment.